Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can easily back up and restore catalogs to preserve your catalog's integrity in case of accidental data loss. The first time you back up a catalog, you must back up the entire catalog. After that, you can perform an incremental backup to only back up the changes to the catalog if desired. To back up the current catalog, select File, Backup Catalog from the menu bar. If prompted to reconnect missing files, you can do that before backing up the catalog. At that point, the Backup Catalog to Hard Drive dialog box appears. To perform a full backup, select the Full Backup Option button. To perform an incremental backup, select the incremental backup option if you have already completed a full backup. After making your choice, click the next button to continue. In the next screen, select the destination drive by clicking the desired drive letter. Then click the browse button next to the backup path field to select the folder into which to save the backup file in the dialog box that appears. If saving an incremental backup to an existing backup file, you can click the Browse button next to the Previous Backup File field to select the folder that contains the previous backup within the dialog box that then appears. To then complete the backup, click the Save Backup button. To retrieve files from a catalog backup file in case of data loss or to move the files if needed, select File Restore Catalog from the menu bar. In the Restore Catalog from CD, DVD, or Hard Drive dialog box that then appears, select either CD slash DVD if you saved the backup file to CD or DVD, or select Hard Drive slash Other Volume if you saved it to a hard drive. If you choose CD, DVD, use the Select Drive drop-down to select your CD or DVD drive with the backup file in it. Otherwise, click the Browse button next to the Locate the Backup File field to open a dialog box where you can select the backup file from your hard drive. After selecting the backup file, click the Browse button next to the Specify Destination field in the Restore Files and Catalog 2 section and select the folder within the dialog box that appears into which to save the new catalog file created by the backup file. Optionally, to also restore the original folder structure of the catalog and its related media, check the Restore Original Folder Structure checkbox. Then click the Restore button to recreate the catalog in the new location. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.